Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows 10 or Windows 11 error that you failed to obtain an IP address from the DHCP server. So DHCP stands for the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. And when you are attempting to connect to the internet, you may be having an issue with your IP address not being able to be properly communicated to the network. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu, type in services, best match, or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down and locate the DHCP client service in here and double click on it. Set startup type to automatic. So make sure it is running, and then you would select Apply and OK, and then you would close out of there. And hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem. Something else you want to look into here as well, if you open up the search menu, and type in Troubleshoot, Best Match, or come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath Options, go ahead and select Other Troubleshooters. Underneath Most Frequent, select Network and Internet, and then the Run button. If there are any issues, it should allow you to scan and see if it is able to resolve the problems through there. If you're still having a problem, you can attempt to also reset your network settings back to default. So select the network and internet on the left side. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down and select advanced network settings. And then underneath more settings, select network reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once we reset our network settings, you will need to restart your computer. And upon restarting and booting back into Windows, you will need to enter back in your Wi-Fi credentials if you want to get back online. This will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And then you want to select Close. And then you want to restart your computer at this time. So there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point you should be good to go. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.